Alright, so I've already talked about low-carb diets, and I even mentioned Lauren Cordain, but Paleo is unique and popular enough to deserve its own video. After creating the Paleo diet, Lauren Cordain amazingly transformed his body from this to this! Now you know a diet is a bullshit fad when you see the creator selling products like these on his website. Wow, I didn't know Paleolithic caveman ate fruit and nut bars. And oh look, protein powder too! You have to at least give Lauren Cordain credit for knowing his audience. He knows appeal to nature fallacies are good enough for these morons who can't even do a single proper pull-up and think basing their diet on a primitive people who often died of nutritional deficiencies is a good idea. The funniest thing about this diet is virtually every single recommended food item was created during the Neolithic era. So why even call this the Paleo diet when this, 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 and this are all Neolithic? This really should be called the Neo diet. Lauren also claims that beans and lentils shouldn't be eaten because cavemen didn't eat them. Don't you think we should base our diet off of what's healthy or not, rather than what cavemen ate? Well, Lauren doesn't think so. He'd rather just appeal to nature. We find that whenever and wherever it was possible, hunter-gatherers always preferred animal food to plant food. So they clearly preferred fatty animals to animals that were lean. The bottom line is, is that paleo diets, if I had to characterize it, would have always been lower in carbohydrate. Most of the hunter-gatherer societies, the majority, were consuming higher than 15%. And if you look at the evolutionary record, if you look at hunter-gatherers, there's no vegan or vegetarian hunter-gatherer. So people that don't eat meat won't reproduce. Claims he's a scientist! At its heart, the paleo diet really is just another low-carb diet. But, because cholesterol and saturated fat are so well known to cause heart disease, Lauren and his caveman friends have to cause confusion about cholesterol in order to sell his diet to you. Saturated fat by itself probably is not problematic. I can assure you there is no confusion whatsoever that saturated fat and cholesterol are responsible for heart disease. This study demonstrates that a saturated fat-rich diet, kind of like the paleo diet, activates an obesity-linked pro-inflammatory gene. This study demonstrates that a high cholesterol diet causes a lipoprotein responsible for cholesterol transport stays in circulation longer where it's more susceptible to oxidation and cause inflammation. Now, this study demonstrates that rapeseed oil, which is high in monounsaturated fat and free of cholesterol, does not increase LDL and does not increase oxidized LDL, whereas butter, which is high in cholesterol and saturated fat, does increase LDL and oxidized LDL. So butter would be almost yeah. okay? Not almost, it would be okay. Wow, a lot of people are happy now. And lastly, this study demonstrates that low cholesterol levels halt the development of coronary artery plaque, whereas high cholesterols increase the development of coronary artery plaque. I think under the context of the paleo diet, uh, saturated fat really has a minimal effect on uh, either cancer or heart disease. Cholesterol is very clearly a culprit for heart disease, there are an innumerable amount of studies demonstrating this, and Lorne Cordain, along with all of these paleo, high cholesterol, high saturated fat promoters, are just fucking lying straight to your face, and they don't care that their diet is going to shorten your life. And despite of all its stupidity, this diet got its real success by marketing to stupid, insecure men and telling them the diet and lifestyle they already have is somehow ultra manly and primal. Paleo promoters have created a glamorized image of our ancestors' incredibly hard and difficult lives and created it into some sort of Hollywood male fantasy. Well, look at these guys. They go to the store to buy their meat. Just like a tough, brute caveman. I guess it's easy to sell diet books when you tell idiots that hiring someone else to kill innocent and defenseless animals for you counts as manly. I guess it's also manly to eat a diet that clogs your arteries and causes impotence. Yes, that's right. High cholesterol and saturated fat diets, which I just explained cause heart disease, also cause impotence due to restricting blood flow. But why would you need an erection when you could just be on the bottom? And to go along with your impotence, why don't you inject some steroids so as to completely destroy your body's testosterone production? Because according to Mark Sisson, that's primal! Yeah, all these vegans who don't support the slaughter of innocent animals and can actually get an erection when in front of the woman are definitely the Sissies! Come on, take control, Patrick! Come on! Set yourself right, come on! That's it! Come on, sit into it! 
and explode up. Drive! That's it! Paleo! Because impotence not being able to do a single pull-up and going to the grocery store is the pinnacle of manliness. So yeah, that's paleo for you. Just another stupid fad made up by a fat, pathetic man who wants to encourage diet-related diseases and animal suffering in favor of money. Real men eat plants, so be sure to make some vegan gains. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and until next time. Beef. What a relief. When will this poisonous product cease? This is another public service announcement. You can believe it or you can doubt it. Let us begin now with the cow. The way it gets to your plate and how.